in high definition. This is CBS 2 News at 5. UCLA now has a state-of-the-art weapon to treat cancer patients. In fact, it's the only center in the LA area with this machine. It actually zeroes in on the tumor, cuts down on radiation time, and makes the recovery much easier. This is a um, door of a, a facility up in Ojai, California, and doors signify beginnings. 64-year-old Beverly Namnown has recurring lung cancer. Doctors told her this time it was inoperable. I think a part of me shut down when I heard that. Traditional radiation could have been too damaging because her tumor was pressing up against her heart and other vital organs. Now, a state-of-the-art radiation device at UCLA is able to precisely pinpoint tumors with little effect on healthy tissues. So what's amazing about this is that we're, treat we're treating this technology as a surgical tool, eradicating cancer as a surgeon does with a knife, except that we never have to open up the patient with a knife. Radiation oncologist Percy Lee says the image-guided machine can deliver more accurate, higher doses of radiation in fewer visits. He says for some, treatment can be cut from six weeks to as little as five days, and in some patients, double the survival rate. It could be cancers that have spread to the lung, but not, in, not too many of them at one time, you know, three to five lesions. It could be in pancreatic cancer, it could be in liver cancers, prostate cancer, and pelvic tumors. You may have heard of a device called the CyberKnife. Dr. Lee has used it and says it's the same approach, but Novalis TX technology, he says, shortens the time a patient has to be on the table during each visit. And it's quick. It's very quick. Once I'm set up, we're done in 10 minutes. For the amateur photographer who likes new beginnings, this hopefully will be one of them. It's a very good prognosis that I should go into remission. Beverly's treatment will still take five weeks because of her type of cancer, but she's feeling good. For more information on this machine, just go to CBS2.com and click on the Pulse.